Texas, one of six states that could decide the next president of the United States, but not the only race that's made the Lone Star State battleground territory this time around. The U.S. Senate contest featuring incumbent Republican John Cornyn and his Democratic challenger, MJ Hagar. It's attracted the nationwide attention as well. KVU will have team coverage bringing you the latest on all the big election races, including that race for the U.S. Senate. In Texas, that begins tomorrow. We're starting an hour earlier tomorrow afternoon with that cast of characters you see on your screen. We'll begin at 4 p.m. tomorrow. KVU's Jenny Lee will be here with us tomorrow, but she's here with us live in Central Austin tonight. And Jenny, this Senate race is going to be a close one. It is a close one, Brian, because of all the money involved. Now, Brian Smith, the professor of political science over at St. Uni. St. Edwards University, excuse me, says that money, that's a lot of outside money being poured into this race. So today, Cornyn and Hager, they went all over Texas trying to get those last minute votes. And today, we heard what they had to say on the campaign trail. Take a listen. His actions have been killing jobs. His actions have been leading for us to be the 50th in the nation for access to health care for the entire 18 years he's been in office. And he likes to finger point and blame other people. Yeah. And you know what? The, how much the premiums on the Affordable Care Act have gone up the last six years? 57% in Texas alone. Your deductible, $3,000. If you're a family of four, it's $12,000. That's like not having any insurance at all. He doesn't follow through, and Texans are tired. Our BS meter is pinging and we, we are ready to hold people accountable. What we're seeing is an unprecedented attack on our way of life, on the Texas economy and on our freedoms by outsiders who want to turn us into California. We're not gonna let that happen on our watch. A third of his nearly two decades in office, he's had a majority in the, in the House, a majority in the Senate, and the White House. Y'all, if he wanted to protect dreamers, dreamers would be protected. We no longer are dependent on imported oil and gas from the Middle East. And we're helping our friends and allies around the world not depend on a single source of oil and gas from somebody like Vladimir Putin. All right, well, Smith also told me earlier today that both candidates' goal is to get partisan voters out to the polls tomorrow, not necessarily independent voters. Brian. Jenny, we heard from the two candidates there. We saw Senator Cornyn hitting smaller cities today. MJ Hagar, bigger cities here in the state of Texas. What were the strategies behind their approach today, the final day of real campaigning? That's right, Brian. Cornyn hit smaller cities like Victoria, Laredo. Uh, he'll be in Dripping Springs at 6.30 tonight. So I asked that uh, to Brian Smith, and he said uh, that Cornyn took a uh, page out of Ted Cruz's political playbook back in 2018 when he narrowly defeated Beto O'Rourke. So the, the, the game plan was this, is this, galvanizing the rural voters out in West Texas, because while many of them may not like Donald Trump, they still like Cornyn. So he needs to galvanize those orders and get them out here to polling sites like the one behind me. Meantime, for Hagar, she went to Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, uh, the bigger cities, because they traditionally turn out the big uh, a lot of voters, so she needs to count on them, get them out here to beat the 18-year Republican incumbent.